Hi all. This is Engineering Chemistry 18CHE12, Module 1, Electrochemistry and Energy Storage Systems. Syllabus. Here it includes three sub topics, namely, first sub topic is use of free energy in the chemical equilibrium, in that thermodynamic functions, definitions of free energy and entropy, cell potential. Derivation of Nernst equation for single electrode potential, numerical problems on E, E naught, and E cell. Second top, subtopic: electrochemical systems. In that, reference electrodes, introduction, construction, working, and applications of calomel electrode, ion selective electrode, definition, construction, and principle of glass electrode, and determination of pH using glass electrode, electrolyte concentration cells, and numerical problems. Third subtopic, energy storage systems. Introduction, classification, primary, secondary, and reserve batteries. Construction, working, and applications of nickel metal hydride batteries and lithium ion batteries. Course outcomes, that is CO1. Use of free energy in the equilibria. Rationalize bulk properties and processes using thermodynamic considerations. Electrochemical energy systems. Now let us begin with the first subtopic, use of free energy in chemical equilibrium. Introduction. Electrochemistry is a branch of chemistry deals with the interaction of matter and electrical energy. That means here, under this headline, we are going to deal with the study of interconversion of electrical energy and chemical energy. Producing electrical energy from the chemical reactions, that is called a spontaneous process, or bringing out chemical reactions by applying electrical energy, that is non-spontaneous process. And we have one device which is used for producing electrical energy from the chemical reactions. The chemical reactions is nothing but reduction reaction or oxidation reaction, or together called redox reaction. It is called electrochemical cell. So electrochemical cell is a device used for producing an electrical energy from a chemical reaction. Now we have thermodynamic functions, which means here there are some routinely used words or the definitions like free energy, cell potential, single electrode potential, standard electrode potential, entropy, enthalpy, etc. Now let us go one by one. First one, first function, free energy. What do you mean by free energy? Why it is called free energy? How to define this? What is the formula to express the free energy? Here we have the answer for all these questions. Free energy is defined as a part of the total energy of the system, which is available to do useful work. We have a lot of energies in the universe, chemical energy, kinetic energy, thermodynamic energy, and many more energy we have. So whatever the available energy is used, that is we are getting to do the useful work, that available energy is called the free energy. It is a part of total energy. Available means it is a part of whatever the energy we are getting out of the total energy in the universe. That is called the free energy and it is denoted by delta G. So delta stands for change. G stands for free energy. So change in the free energy. In the chemistry, it is most often referred as Gibbs free energy. Gibbs is a chemist who have introduced the concept of a free energy for the first time. That is why the free energy is often called Gibbs free energy and it is given by the equation delta G equals delta H minus T into delta S. What, what do you mean by this delta H, T and delta S stands for here? Delta G means change in the Gibbs free energy. Delta H means change in the enthalpy. Delta S means change in the entropy and T is, you know that it's absolute temperature. Now, let's go to the second uh, function, entropy. That is, yes, that is already there in the Gibbs free energy equation. Delta G equals delta H minus T into delta S. So this delta S we are going to study now. What is the uh, entropy? It's a measure of disorder or randomness in a system. Why this random? What is this randomness? What do you mean by the disorder? Now, before going to give the 
chemical examples, a proper example that is available in all the textbooks. I would like to give a general example. So let us assume we are going to a movie in a theater. So while going, we will follow some of the rules that is by uh, getting some uh, ticket and uh, the watchman will allow us to uh, movie theater by collecting the tickets one by one. There is, there, 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 that is a uh, definite uh, orderness, order will be there while going inside the movie theater. A lot of people, thousands of people will allow into the movie theater in a uh, order wise. One by one by one by by checking the, the ticket and other things. Now, the next question is, can you follow the same order while coming out of the movie theater after the completion of a movie? No, definitely. That means here, there is a disorderness. While coming back to the, uh, out from the movie theater, the order changes. That means disorder increases. To what extent? That disorder is called randomness. To what extent the disorder occurs? That measurement of extent of disorder, it is called entropy. Whatever the measurement we are going to measure for the disorderness, for the randomness, that is called the entropy. And it is represented by S, yes, English letter S. Yes. S yes stands for entropy. And the unit is joules per Kelvin, J by K, joules per Kelvin. And entropy increases with increase in the randomness. That is absolutely right. Whenever the entropy increases, randomness also increases. For example, let us give the example of chemical compounds here. In a crystal, the particles are arranged in a order manner, in a lattice. Sodium chloride you take. Sodium chloride is a crystal. There is a lattice. So in this, when it is a solid form, there will be a definite order, ordered manner. All the particles are arranged in a definite order to give a lattice point, crystal structure. But when a crystal melts, the lattice points breaks and disorder increases. And then entropy of the system changes or increases. This is for the liquid state. Whenever it melts, slightly the orderness changes. Then if you go to the gaseous system, the, it has a maximum disorder because there is no orderness for the gases. Gaseous particles are randomly moves in and around. That means gaseous system has maximum disorder, liquid has more order, solid is a still more order physical state. Thus, entropy is highest in a gaseous state and least in solid state. Come to the third one, cell potential. So what is this cell potential? It is a different, uh, defined as the difference in the standard reduction potential between the two half cells in an electrochemical cell. Already I explained the meaning of electrochemical cells. It's a device used to produce electrical energy from the chemical reactions. So there in the electrochemical cells, there will be a reactions, half cell reactions. Half cell, anode, anode reaction, cathode reaction. Together, the difference of the reduction potential between the two half cell is there now that is called electro cell potential and it is denoted as E cell. Now next fourth uh, function single electrode potential. It is defined as the potential developed when an electrode is in contact with the solution of its own ions and it is denoted as E. That I will show you in this animated diagram. Here the, this is a copper electrode. This copper electrode is dipped in CuS4. You can see the below labeled picture, copper sulfate, aqueous. What happens here? The copper ions produced from the copper electrode is in contact with the copper ions of the copper solution here. Copper electrode dipped in the copper sulfate and copper ions are there inside the solution, which is also a copper sulfate solution. That means here, the potential developed when an electrode, that is copper electrode, is in contact with the solution of its own ions. Solution means copper sulfate, one and copper ions. Now, whatever the potential developed now, that is called single electrode potential and it is denoted as E, capital E. Now, the last one, standard electrode potential. 
the same thing is applicable at the standard conditions of temperature pressure and concentration the same thing see the definition it is defined as the potential developed when an electrode is in contact with the solution of one molar concentration standard condition it is one molar concentration at 298 kelvin standard temperature and one atmospheric pressure standard pressure see standard pressure of one atmosphere standard temperature of 298 kelvin concentration one molar whenever at this condition the potential develop that is called standard electrode potential denoted as e not this is about the uh, five important thermodynamic functions now we'll have the non stick question i'll continue in the next class